Hi, yogis. Welcome to your daily practice. I'm Allison, and today we're working with uh, balance and working toward tree pose. So you might like to have nearby a chair or a table, something you can hang on to if you need it. Um, please take off your shoes and your socks. And we'll begin in a center kind of mountain position with the feet right underneath your hip points. Now we're gonna start really super simply. Um, you can bring your hands onto the top of the pelvis and just practice shifting a little bit of weight from one side to the other. You're just kind of rocking left and right. And to get more specific with this as we start to build into balance, next time you shift over to your right side, go ahead and pause there and imagine that you're really pouring the weight into the right foot so much so that you would be able to lift your left foot off of the ground. You're going to set it back down and then pour the weight into your opposite side. Okay, so lifting the right foot off of the ground. We'll do that much a few more times. So really feeling the moment that you've shifted your weight and then you're just lifting a foot and then you're going to shift your weight and lift your foot. Now keep this going, and ideally we're shifting the weight without letting it become the hip sink. You're staying pretty lifted and very much on the center of your leg as you pick up your opposite foot. Okay. So this is kind of one fundamental that's going to be helpful as we work our way into the first ver version of tree pose. So weight shift. And then from here, turn the opposite knee out and slide your heel toward the standing ankle. So I still have both feet on the floor. I'm using my uh, foot as a little bit of a kickstand. So just that much for right now, and then unswivel and step back down to center. And then switch sides. You're gonna pour the weight into your opposite leg, swivel the knee out, slide that foot in. So you're using it as a bit of a kickstand and then unswivel and come back to center. So that much, let's include breath. So from here you can weight shift, and as you inhale, come into the tree pose. So knee swivels out, heel to ankle. And as you exhale, release and come back to center. And I'm even imagining kind of a bend to my knees as I come to center. Then you weight shift, tree to the opposite side, inhale. And release as you exhale. That much once more to each side. So inhaling into tree. And exhale, center. Inhale, tree. Exhale, center. Okay, now we're gonna build on to that. Um, we're gonna talk about one more fundamental, not only for tree pose, but this has a lot to do with um, kind of lower back happiness. And that's being able to move the leg from the leg versus moving the leg from the pelvis. So when you shift your leg to one side, see if you can get in touch with kind of the feel of the front hip points, the front of your pelvis there. And imagine, although of course there's internal movement, imagine those hip points are gonna stay pretty stable. So that rather than turning your leg out from your pelvis, which might look like something like this, this is me moving my leg from my back. I'm gonna imagine that my leg is really turning from my leg. And it might make you feel a little bit of the kind of muscular action deep, deep, deep below the glutes. So let's work with that much a couple times. You can undo, shift the weight to the opposite side, and just explore. Can you really turn the leg from the leg without much movement or much shift of the pelvis? Right. So that's kind of fundamental number two of tree and also kind of really taking care of lower back. So if you have this much, we're gonna add on. You're welcome to stay with this. I find that this actually is quite a lot of balance practice and a lot of good work to kind of stabilize through the core. So you're welcome to stay here. If you would like to add on, right, you might even hang on to a chair. You're gonna pour the weight, bring the foot into like, uh, as if you're coming into tree pose, the very beginning. 
And imagine that your foot, the sole of the foot, is like a big paintbrush, and you're going to paint up the inside of the calf. Right? Then you're going to unpaint and step back down to center. We'll do that much. So you can pour the weight into one side, knee swivels out from the leg, and then use that paintbrush, slide up the inside of the calf, and then unswivel and step back down to center. Okay. One more time to each side. So there's a weight shift, there's a swivel, there's a sliding up of the foot, there's an unswivel and a release. Last time, so swiveling out, painting up, unswiveling, and a release. Okay, go ahead and shake it out, take a moment to rest. Often I'll get the question about the lower back in this position. And so if you're feeling a lot of work there, you might check in that you're not turning the whole pelvis. You might also check in, and this is pretty subtle, I'm gonna show you this from the side. If my weight is very much to the front of my leg and I come into tree pose, you can probably see this, that I'm really using my back to hold my body in space. So the next kind of fundamental, and it's pretty subtle, we're going to imagine that we're bringing the pelvis a little bit back. So not only are we centered on the foot, but it's like we're really standing on the center of the standing supporting leg, okay? Let's put all this together. So you can take hands to hips. If it helps you, you could also bring palms together or hand at chair, okay? But we're gonna weight shift to one side. Imagine your pelvis floating a little bit back in space and then swivel the leg from the leg and either bring foot to ankle or foot up onto calf. And then we'll undo, unswivel, slowly lower the foot back down and weight shift to the opposite side. You might imagine the pelvis coming a little bit back in space and then you swivel the leg out, heel at ankle, or you paint up the inside of the standing calf. Undo, come back to center, the whole thing once again with breath. So you can pour the weight into one side. As you inhale, find the tree pose. As you exhale, undo, slowly set the foot back down. Last time, second side, weight shift. Inhale, tree pose. And exhale, undo, release come back to center. Go ahead and shake it out a little bit. We're gonna do this once more, and this time a held position in tree, right? So balance requires being able to shift and navigate all the postural sways inside of balance. It does not require being still. So don't worry about being still, but we're gonna put all of these principles together and shift the weight to one side. You might allow the pelvis to come slightly back in space and then swivel the opposite leg from the leg. Your choice, foot can be at ankle, it can be at calf. Right. If you like the variation and you practiced it before where you take your foot to the inner thigh, you're welcome to do that. But for right now, um, since we are focusing on some of these fundamentals, you might stay with calf or ankle. Now another really important thing that will improve your balance is focusing your eyes. So I'm looking at a spot in front of me slightly below the line of my vision. You're just gonna pause here and breathe. If you would like to add branches, you're welcome to float your arms in any configuration. And the next really important piece of balance is you listening to how long you're able to stay balancing. So when I start to find that I'm about to lose my um, posture here, I'm gonna decide to come out when I can still come out with that same balance that brought me into the pose. Okay. Second side, pour the weight, pelvis comes a little back in space, swivel the knee, and then find your variation of tree. So maybe you're at ankle, calf, maybe you're at thigh, you're gonna focus your eyes on one focal point. Maybe you stay, maybe you add branches. And again, you're just listening 
Not trying to force the posture, but just notice when you have enough left in you to come out with that same feel of balance that brought you in. And don't you worry, we're gonna do it again. So we have a lot of pieces that we've put together. Right? We have a weight shift, we have turning the leg from the leg, um, we have the focal point, we have breathing. Um, we're gonna put it all together, and this time really let the duration be up to you. Okay? So weight shift, find your focal point, breathe. Slowly come into your tree pose. Continue to breathe and navigate any postural shift you feel. Breathe. And again, come out when you feel you can still come out with a sense of balancing. Switch sides, weight shift. Pelvis comes a little back in space and slowly come into your tree pose. Really from the process of listening, breathing, and just navigating. Again, releasing whenever you're ready. Come back to center. And you might experience the feel of this state of balance. You're on both legs, you're on both feet. You might even just notice a little more lift to your posture, hopefully a little ease to your breath. Now, of course, you can continue, you can repeat, continue to practice tree or watch one of the other videos. Um, thank you so much for trying this and for practicing today. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.